Hi, welcome back to Kianda the Smart Home. In this video, I show you how to use color display in ESP Home. The one I have is 1.8 inch TFT LCD with ST7735 driver on a PCB. This model uses the SPI bus for communication. TFT LCD is a variant of a liquid crystal display that uses thin thin transistor technology to improve image quality. In this video, I use these pins to connect this LCD display to ESP development board. RTS is LCD reset control pin. CS is LCD chip select control pin. DC is data command selection control pin. DIN is SPI bus write data pin. CLK is SPI bus clock pin. VCC is power positive pin. BL is backlight control pin and ground must be connected to ground of development board. In order to use this display, we need 5 volt DC. I use 5 volt pin of my development board to connect to this display. In Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, Add-ons, Open ESP Home. Click Open Web UI. My ESP development board is already set up with ESP Home. If you do not know how to do it, you can find its tutorial in description. I want to connect the display to this development board of mine. Click edit to open its YAM file in order to program the board. As I mentioned, the display uses SPI bus for communication. So we have to add lines related to SPI in YAM file. CLK is used to tell the receiving device when to read data. MOSI, also DIN, is used to send data from the master, the ESP development board to the receiving device. MISO, also D out, is used to receive data. In some cases, one of MOSI or MISO do not exist, as the receiving device only accepts data or sends data. By referring to data sheet of my development board, CLK pin of display must be connected to GPIO 18. MOSI pin, which in this example is DIN, must be connected to GPIO 23 of my development board. And MISO does not exist. This pin is 5 volt DC. I use it to connect 5 volt DC to the display. I connect it to pin number 6, VCC, also to back. Connect ground of display. to ground pin of development board. I have to connect GPIO 18 of development board to pin number 5, CLK pin of display. Also, pin number 23, GPIO 23 of development board to pin number 4 of the display, DIN. We have to add lines related to display in YAM file of development board. We can find the lines in description. As I mentioned, the display has ST7735 driver, so the platform is ST7735. You can use different models. If you use wrong model in YAM file, the display does not work correctly. Connect reset pin of display to GPIO13 of development board, CS pin to GPIO5, DC pin, data command to GPIO4. Also, you can rotate the display. In my example, I rotate it 
90 degree. If I do not rotate it, the display will be like this. Device width, the display device width is 128. Device height, the height of the display is 160. This line is the starting column offset. This line specifies the starting row offset. 8-bit color, default is false. This saves 50% of the buffer required for the display. I set it to true. Update interval is time between display updates. Default is set to one second. I change it to five seconds. I connected CS pin of display, pin number two, to GPIO five, the blue wire. Connected pin number three, DC pin of display, to GPIO four. The orange wire connected pin number one, reset pin of display to GPIO 13 of development. This way. Wiring is done. Let's continue editing YAM file. I save edited YAM file in order to not lose anything. You have the option to use any true type font file at any size, as well as fixed size PCF and PDF bitmap form. To use fonts, you have to import it to your ESP Home configuration file. Just grab a TTF or PCF or BDF file from somewhere on the internet. Then navigate to settings in Home Assistant, add on. In order to import files, we use File Editor. If you do not have this add-on installed by navigating to add-on store, search it and install it. Open file editor, click open web UI. Navigate to ESP home folder. Now you can easily upload files to ESP home folder by clicking this icon, upload file icon clicking file then browsing and selecting the file do not forget to click ok to upload it i have already uploaded arial.ttf font go back to esp home open the yam file to continue editing it below captive portal Above SPI section, I create a font section by pasting these lines. Also, we can use defonts in ESP Home, Google Fonts. In order to use fonts, we have to specify IDs for each of the fonts, as you see. Also, you can specify size for each font. I save the file in order to not lose anything using color displays you can use custom colors and also display images to display images first you have to import its file in esp home folder to do so navigate to file editor add-on by clicking settings add-ons and opening file editor Then navigate to ESP Home folder. Here you have to import the file of the image you want to display. I have already imported logo of my channel to display. Then go back to YAM file of your development board. Below captive portal, we have to add image component. In front of file, you have to enter the name of your picture or let's say image. An ID must be specified. Type, 
it specifies how to encode image internally. Default is set to binary. I change it to RGB565, which is lossy RGB color store, uses two bytes per pixel. We have the types here, as you see. Resize. If set, this will resize the image to fit inside the given dimensions. Width and height. Let's save the file. Also, custom colors can be used. For using it, color component must be added to YAMP file. I add color component here. You can find the lines in description. There are three main colors, red, green, blue. By using them, you can produce a broad array of colors. In color component, you can set different colors to have different colors. You have to use red, green, and blue. Let's say we have to combine them in persons. Each color needs a unique ID to use it. Yellow, which we can have it by using 100% red and 100% green. Also, I want to use red color. You can use this web page, which its link is in description, to select your desired color and set red, green, blue. For example, a spring green 2 needs 0% red, 93% green, and 46% blue. So far, image component, color component, font component, and SPI section are added. To continue display component, it's time to add lambda to print. For basic information about displays, watch the video at top right corner of the screen. Setting up a display platform in ESP Home, there will be a configuration option called Lambda, which will be called every time ESP Home wants to re-render the display. I paste Lambda here. I want to print subscribe with Arial font in red at this position. I want to draw an image, which is the logo at this position. Also, I want to print Kian in middle of the display using Roboto font in yellow color at this position. First, this line will be printed, then this line, and at the end, this line. If I put this line, above this section, Kian will not be displayed. YAML file is ready to be installed on development board. I click install, select wirelessly, as my development board is connected to network wirelessly. By the way, development board is connected to power. Wait till installation completes. Installation is done, logo is printed, Kion is printed in yellow, subscribe is also printed in red. That's it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave comments. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet.
as it motivates me to upload more videos.